Okay, I guess he's not coming. Bummer. Bummer, bummer. All right. Let's do this. Who's chatting? <laughs> Hi. So, how you guys doing today? Um, everybody unmute. Let's talk. Let me shut the doors. Unmute though. So, uh, Miles, tell me what's up. What's good? Uh, I've just been doing schoolwork the whole day, mostly. What have you been working on? Uh, just, you know, something for every subject, like, just math. So. What'd you do in history today? Uh, I didn't really do anything, because right now we're just kind of looking over, like, the slide deck that tells us what to do for our project that we're starting tomorrow. Do you know what your project subject is? Yeah, we just, I think we just have to like interview a person that we know and then just ask them questions. What kind of questions? Like, what's the uh, theme? Uh, it's like, I don't know, I don't really know, but like, you know. It's, it's like uh, their career, for their career or what? It's, it's for like, you have to, I think it's, I'm pretty sure you have to ask them questions, like, you know, about like something they did in their lives and stuff. Well, that's pretty generic. Yeah. You know, what I did in my life once is I broke a pencil. That's the type of interview material you're looking for. Grant, tell me what's up. Uh, I did the schoolwork today. What did you do in science? We didn't have science. What did you do in history? Wait, wait, a paper ball? Yeah, I'm doing like that. What, what, is, what do you have to do with the paper ball? Like, so you have like, you have like, you're like 12 different sides, and then you like make stuff about like something. Like, we're learning about like the US after it um, was independent. And then you like move them together and it creates like some paper ball. I have no idea what you're saying. So there was 12 sides on the paper ball. America after their independence, something with the paper balls. That's what I heard. Oh, we're making something. It's called like a... a code, code drawing, like a code drawing. A what? Uh, it, it's, I'm just going to do it. It's called D-O-D-E-C-A-H-E-D-R-O-N. Dodecahedron? Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're funny, Grant. A paper ball. Hey, Cash Money. What's up? Dominic, tell me what's good. Hang on. I don't know who AR is. One second. I might need to boot this person real quick. If I tell you, cover your ears, cover your ears. Oh, uh, who is? Oh, that's Rit. That's Ruby. That's who it is. I remember. <clears throat> All right, where's Ruby? There's Ruby. I'm gonna change your name, Ruby. There, I changed your name. Yeah, I know. Ruby, change your name to Ruby. Now you're Ruby Tuesday. Um, sorry, Dominic. I didn't mean to interrupt. Go ahead. I did schoolwork today. And what did you? What schoolwork did you do? Tell me about it. I did math and English. What did you do in math? Uh, we did um, uh, review tests. On what? On um, angles and degrees. Cool. All right, let's get started. All right, Cash Money, sit crisscross right in front of the dummy, please.
in front of the screen. All right. <clears throat> Let's start with touching our heels in the back. Ready? It's warm in here where I am. Man. Get set and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. High knees. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Slide, slide, touch, jump. Slide, slide. Touch, jump, slide, slide, touch, jump, slide, touch, jump, slide, slide, touch, jump. Keep going. About a minute total. Jump, slide, slide, touch, jump. Slide, slide, touch, jump, slide. Slide, touch, jump. Keep going. 20 more seconds. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Keep going, Jackson's here. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Okay, Paro. Let me resize it so I can see Jackson. Where did he go? Well, Jackson was here for a second. Oh well, we'll see if he comes back. Jumping jacks, 50 of them. Ready, get set, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Good, Isaiah. Two, three, 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 four, three, five, three, six, three, seven. 38, 39, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. 20 push-ups, no stopping. Together on this one, um, in case you missed yesterday, which was Cash and Ruby, we finished with our jumping, our push-ups chart. We're gonna to move to something different. Okay, here we are. Ready, get set, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, with me, 18, 19, 20. All right, circle your legs in an open guard drill, just like this, close to your body. Don't do them out here. Do it close to your body. Short circles, close to your butt. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Your heel should like hit your butt. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Ruby, too far out. You're like out here. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Knees to your chest when you do it. Do the other way now. One, two, the other direction. Three, four. Bring your knees to your chest as much as they go. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right, ten break falls. Ready and go. One, up. Two, up, three, up, four, up, five, up, six, tuck your chain up, seven, when you break fall, up, eight, so your head doesn't hit the back, nine, up, ten, very nice, we're going to do hip escapes, twenty, ready, What was that? Say it again, Andrew. Uh, my internet's um, glitching right now. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I see it. That's okay. We'll deal. All right, ready? And go. One. Hip escapes. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right, twenty cross chokes. Ready, get set, and go. One, two, more than 20. Three, four, cross your crunches. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Actually, no, 20, 16, 17. I forgot what today is, 18, 19, 20. Now let's do technical stand-ups. So this is kind of new. We don't do this very much. Technical stand-up is another basic ingredient to many moves. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just sit just like this with kind of one foot out with my hand on top of it. Kind of like I'm flipping the, the channels on the remote. Now my other hand is going to go on the mat. So whatever one isn't resting on that front arm is going to go on the mat back here. So they're opposites. If your left leg is up, then your right hand is back. If you do your left leg up, then your, or your right leg up, then your left arm is back. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick my butt up off the mat, watch. And then with my hand up, I'm gonna swivel my other leg underneath my body to make like a triangle. And then I adjust, and then I'm up. Oftentimes when you do this, you do a little slide step like this. Watch. So I'm in my channel flipping situation. I get my hips up off the ground. I slide it all the way under. And you kind of like jump back as you do it. That's a little bit better if you can do that. That's called a technical stand-up. Now let me talk about a few elements of this. Um, for self-defense purposes, what I want you to do, um, I have somebody named Grace wanting to get in the room. 
Um, if I tell you, cover your ears, because we are having somebody maybe try class, and we have one mom named Grace too, but it could be a Zoom bomber, okay? If I say, cover your ears, worst case, I'll try and boot them out before they say anything. But I think we have a new person trying. Hang on, we'll go back to that. All right, just get ready to lower your speakers. Hi. Hello, how are you guys? <laughs> Sorry, it took so long for us to figure this out. No, that's okay. How you guys doing? We, I mean, we don't see many new people right now, so that's super cool and exciting that we have somebody new. Here, I'm over at my desk right now because I came to let you in the room. Hi, oh, I'm Coach Dan. Hi. Well, what was Say your hi. name? Christian. Christian. Can I change your name to Christian instead of Grace, which I think is your mom's name? Yeah. All right, I'll change it. Rename. Cristiano. Very nice, Christian. Good to meet you. So where do you go to school, Christian? Lakeview. Ah, oh, Lakeview, of course. What am, I, what am I saying? Of course you go to Lakeview. Well, most of the people in here, most of us have known each other for actually many years, all of us have known each other for many years. So welcome being the new person, Christian. It's so great to have you. Um, just a few like etiquette things with Zoom. Whenever, under normal circumstances, you're gonna mute your own channel. Do you know how to do that, Christian, from like school yeah. or something? Show me how you can mute your own channel. Good, now unmute. Cool, so tell me something interesting about yourself, Christian. What's something you like to do in your free time? Like if you had it like two hours to do whatever you wanted, what would you do? Sometimes I want my electronics and sometimes I go bike riding. Ah, but I know which one your mom likes better. I have a, I have a guess. Is it the bike riding? Yeah. Nice. What do you like to do on your electronics? I just play games. Which game is your favorite? I don't know. I play all of the games. You know, because you're doing this class today, even though we've done a lot of our exercises already, we're gonna still do a few extra uh, so we can get you doing some too. Um, maybe you can say, Mom, I did extra exercise in jujitsu class today. I should get like 15 more minutes on electronics. <laughs> Just kidding. So do you play piano? I see a piano in the background. Yeah. Nice, how long have you been playing piano? I don't know, like, Three years? Really? That's super cool. Before I was a jiu-jitsu teacher, I was a music teacher. And my very first instrument when I was a little younger than you was piano. So that's really cool. I'll bet you have a lot of time to practice. Um, I have other Zoom meetings. You have other Zoom? Yeah, busy schedule, right? Busy schedule. All right, let's get back go, uh, over. When I'm over at my desk, which I'm sometimes at my desk, this is where I'll be. But you see the big screen where the mat is empty right now? That's where I am most of the time. So let me make my way over there. We were just going over a move. Hey guys, let's not do this move and let's do some like basic exercises because I don't want to start like too hard with a technical stand-up for Christian, okay? All right, let's go back. All right, Christian, go on mute for me. All right, we can all hear me okay? Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. Okay, so we're gonna do 20 burpees now. Burpees is like the perfect exercise. It goes like this. You're gonna start from stand up and you're gonna go down to the frog position. Ribbit. And then your feet are gonna go back and then you jump back to the frog and then you jump and try and touch your ceiling. That's all, the whole thing is one burpee. So it goes like this. Frog, legs back, frog, and jump. Here are the most common mistakes that people make when they try it. They go frog, that's fine. But when they go back, they do it one leg at a time. See how I did it one leg at a time? We don't want that. We want to jump and jump. And the last mistake people make is they try and touch the ceiling like this. That's not going to touch the ceiling. You need to jump all the way up. Look, I touched, you can't even see my hands. That's where you want to be. All right, let's do 20. 
Here we go. Ready? Get set and go. Frog, back, frog. One, stay with me. Back, frog. Two, frog, back, frog. Three, frog, back, frog. Four, five, six. Good job. Seven, eight, nine. Now do them as fast as you can. We'll raise you. I'm at 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Woo! Woo wee! That's good. I'm tired. That's nice. All right, now we're gonna do crab walks. We're gonna get up off the ground and we're gonna walk just in a short circle for 20 seconds or 30 seconds. I haven't decided. All right, get in the position. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Bear crawls now, just like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Very good. Let's go back to the crab walks. And we're gonna do dips. So I'm gonna have my hips kinda high, and then I bend my arms like this, watch. Down, up, down, up. It works the backs of our arms back here. This muscle is called the tricep. It's really good for the tricep. All right, ready? Get set, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Don't let your bottom hit the ground. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right, let's exercise our calves now. The calves are these muscles. I have chicken legs. These muscles right in back. So we're gonna do that just by calf raises. Like you go on your tippy toes. Watch this. You go up and down. That's it. Let's do 50 of them together. Ready? Get set and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 17, 18. Think of a good joke, Christian. 20, 21. Good clean joke. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. I got one. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Why'd the mushroom go to the party? 37, 38. 39, 40, because he was a fun guy. Ah! 43, 44, 45. Why did he leave the party? 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Because there wasn't much room. Much mushroom, much. Never mind. You understand when you're older. Okay, now we're gonna do lunges. We're gonna step back knee and then go up okay and then you just take turns step and put your back knee to the mat you see how this one right here is back down 
and keep your hands on your chest or over your head. You can choose. Let's do 20. Ready? Get set and go. One, two. Do it at the same pace as me. Three, four. What's Cash doing, man? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You were doing really well, Christian. Twelve. Come on, Cash. Let's keep going. Hands over your head. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Last one until we do our new chart. Perfect timing for Christian, actually, because we're starting a new chart today. You'll see what I mean. We're going to do 20 squats like this, down, up. When you do it, stick your butt out in the air. You have to keep your butt, upper body straight. Look, you want to do it kind of like this. You don't want to do this. Watch how I bend over. See how I'm bending over? You can't do that. Keep your body straight. Butt out, body straight. Ready? Get set. Go. One, two, three, four, five. Good job, Ruby. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, good job. All right, so what we've been doing for the past three weeks, four weeks, is we've been doing a push-up chart where I gave unlimited time and you did as many push-ups as you can. And we wrote them down and kept track of our progress. But we're gonna switch now, so a new transitional phase. We're gonna do sit-ups, and we're not gonna do as many as we can. We're gonna do as many as we can in one minute. So I'm gonna set a timer. You'll need something to hold your feet. So if you can stick your feet under something, kind of like a sofa, or your mom or your dad, or something, just anything to stick your feet under and hold them nice and firm, that's the idea. So look at me. It's okay if you don't find it yet. Just stay crisscross right in front of the, uh, your, your video for right now. Now, how we're gonna do it is we need to interlace our fingers just like this. So you kind of put them together and keep them behind your head. You can't release the, your interlace of your fingers and you have to keep them glued. Now, when I say go, you're gonna do sit-ups as many as you can for one minute. So it'll be like this all the way up and all the way down. Don't go like this. One, two, that's not a sit up. That's more like a crunch. So we want, need to go all the way up. Keep count uh, so we can keep track of how many that you have. Our goal over time is gonna be to get to everybody to have 30 sit ups in a minute. That's pretty fast. That's one for every two seconds. That's the ratio. All right, so let's get ready. I'll set the timer, if I can find it. All right, who has an Alexa? Alexa, set a timer for one minute. Okay, Google, set a timer for one minute. Anybody have Googles? Andrew does. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah? Stop my Alexa before it's working. It's working now. Hang on, let me find the real remote. Oh, oh, come on, guys. You saw it. It was right there. All right. Get ready. Get set. I'm going to go over to the desk and open up the program so I can record it. Get all the way on your back. Hands interlaced. Get set and go. Don't forget to keep count fast as you can. Can't catch you, you're the gingerbread man. Wow, Andrew's <laughs> really going fast. I'm over here at my desk now.
Eight seconds. Okay, time, time, stop, stop, stop. Good. Okay, Dominic, unmute. You guys can all see the screen, right? All right, Dominic, tell me, how many did you get in that 60 seconds? 54. 54? 55 foot? Five, four, Dominic? Dominic, that's legit. 54, that's almost one a second. I don't know how you're going to improve on that, though, Dominic. That's great. You're a machine. I think for, you, for most people, they get more out of shape because of this stay-at-home measures. You, you're getting way more in shape. All right, Grant, what you got? I got 33. Very respectable, Grant. Miles. 62. What? Six, two, 62. You young whippersnappers. All right, Cash Money. How many did you get, Cash? 56. What is with you guys? You guys are animals. I can't even do that. I'm too, I'm too long. All right, Ruby. 35. 35. Very respectable, Ruby. Good. Christian, how many did you get? Unmute. Don't forget to unmute, Christian. I can't hear you. 31. 31. That's a really good first score, Christian. You already met like the, the minimum goal I've set for everybody. Andrew. 50. 50 even? Yeah? Okay, 50 even. All right, so the cool thing about this is that over time, we can track your progress um, and see it in a chart. So we can see, for example, today, here's the chart for today. All of you did a really great job with your sit-ups today. You can see this is about the line that I set for your minimum right about here. <laughs> I can't draw a straight line, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> but everybody was well above that. And then you can see where your score compares to everybody else. But let me tell you something, I usually don't show this chart because it's not so much a comparison between you and another person. It's how you improve time and time again. Let me show you what I mean um, so we can understand what I'm talking about. Oh, let me clear this first. There we go. I want to show Christian what we just did with our push-up chart. And let's have Andrew. Oh, this is, let's look at Andrew's chart. This is Andrew's chart right here for push-ups. Andrew, wave Andrew so Christian can see you. There he is. So you see, this is how many push-ups you could do, just period. You see how he goes up and up and up every single time? That's what we want to aim for. So even if you're only able to do 10 sit-ups in a minute, which nobody did, but let's just say that that was the case, the next day you don't go, oh, Andrew or Grant did 60. You don't think like that. You think, all right, tomorrow I'm going to get 11. And this is an important mentality that we need to develop because we're trying to one-up ourselves. And by trying to one-up ourselves, we really get better in the big picture too. We get better relative to our peers, relative to others. But that's not the focus. The focus is on ourselves. And if you have that focus when we're trying to get good at jujitsu, you'll find that you will do better in competition you will do better against your peers, the people from other schools when we go in there and compete. All right, let's go and start class. Everybody go get a drink of water. Water, not juice, not Gatorade, not Powerade, not a shake, get water. Agua. Hey, Dr. Stan? Yeah. Can I see my sets? Yeah, Cash, I'll put them up. Thank you. There you are, Cash. Ooh. 
It's hot in the gym right now. It's really what? hot. It's hot in this room right now. Okay. All right, I'm gonna move it back over to the mat. So now on to the jujitsu part of it. So Christian, this might be a little hard to do for today because we haven't figured out a plan on how you'd be able to practice. If your mom or your dad or you have a brother is willing to help today, that would be like the perfect solution for today. But uh, if you joined up and wanted to do the classes regularly, I could see about giving you, getting you a a grappling dummy or something like that so you could participate in the classes or if your mom or your dad or brother or whatever was willing to help. Um, so what is jujitsu? Jujitsu is a, a martial art and sport where we start from stand up and the goal is to then take them to the ground somehow. So if you can grab their legs and, and tackle them and get them to the ground, that would be really good for you. The next phase is to get a good position on them. For example, what I'm gonna show you right now is one of the best positions where I'm on top of them like this. This is called the mount. This is so good because you have a really good ability to control your opponent. They can buck and bridge and try and get you off, but you can keep the position. And then the third step is to do a submission. For example, the one that we're gonna do right now is called the Americana. We can push the arm down, put it on their ear, go underneath, and then we can bend their arm in a way where it doesn't go. And then as soon as they start to feel it, they tap out. They tap on you and you let go before anybody gets hurt. So the goal is get it to the mat or take them down, get a good position and get a submission. That's like the overall objective of a jiu-jitsu practitioner. We really live and breathe on the ground. That's where a lot of our techniques are. So get it to the ground, get a good position, get a submission. All right, what's the order? Ruby, I already know Ruby knows this, but I'm gonna see if she's awake. No, let's have Isaiah. Isaiah, are you still there? Ruby, unmute. Let's see if, let's see if Isaiah can answer for me. Isaiah's in our little kid class. Isaiah, we try and get it to the ground. Get a good position and get a submission. Get it to the ground, get a good position, then get a submission. Isaiah, what are we trying to do first? Take it to the... Take it to the... Gr gr ground. Ground. Get a good... Yeah. A position. <laughs> Thank you, Ruby. And then we get a... Sub sub Submission, very good. Christian, what are the three main phases of jiu-jitsu? Oh wait, unmute, unmute. Take them to the ground. Good. Um, get a good. Get a good position. Good, and then get a. Get uh, sub, 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 submission. Submission, very good. So right now, we're gonna start in the mounted position and we're gonna do a very basic uh, submission. And thank you for, guys for your patience um, on this one. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take two of my hands from the mount. Actually, let me show you what the mount is. I forgot, I can't take anything for granted. You just basically sit on top of them like this. It's hard for them to do anything and you can do lots of things from here. You're really controlling them. If you get this position in a jiu-jitsu match, you actually get four points. It's really good. Don't worry about points right now, but 
it's like hitting a grand slam in baseball. That's like what it is. You, you hit a grand slam, you get four runs. That's kind of like what this is if you get them out. So once we get them out, we can try and get a submission. I'm going to take both of my hands on his right arm, one at his like wrist and the other at his elbow, and I'm going to push it down to the mat just like this. Push, 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 push. And I try and use my weight as much as I can to push the arm down. Now, my elbow is gonna go right next to their ear, just like this. Now, I'm gonna take my left hand and come underneath their, their arm and grab my own wrist right on top. Now, to do the, uh, the submission, I'm gonna raise his elbow up with my forearm and I paint his hand against the mat like this. It's, imagine like you're trying to paint the mat blue and the paintbrush is his hand. So you get those grips that I was saying, raise up and paint the mat and right about here, their shoulder will start to hurt and then they'll tap out. And right when somebody taps on you in jujitsu, you let go immediately, right away. So here's the whole thing, okay? My dummy can't tap on me. He doesn't feel anything. But if you're working with somebody, you have to make sure that they know to tap out and you know to, to let go right away. So I push the arm all the way down. Elbow stays right next to his ear. Now I come underneath their arm and grab my own wrist. Now keeping this elbow next to the ear, I raise this elbow up of theirs and I make their hand slide down like it's painting the matte blue. And then right about there, they tap and I let go. Okay, so go slowly whenever you apply a submission when we're practicing them. When you're doing them, in, when we're rolling, when we're actually doing it against resisting opponents, you can go a little bit harder, but you still give them time to tap. Okay, all right, here we go. Pushing the arm down, two hands. My elbow goes right next to their ear. I go underneath their arm. I grab with my knuckles up. See how my knuckles are facing up? That's how I grab. Then, keeping my elbow right there on the mat, I raise it and paint their hand. And right about there, I get the tap. Okay? All right. Do you have any, Christian, unmute for a second? Do you have anybody to practice with, like your mom or your dad or anybody? It's okay if... Can you rope anybody into doing it? Yeah, my mom or dad can do it, but my brother or sister can't. All right, let's do it. Find your mom or your dad, go back on mute, and I'll take a look. All right, thank you, guys. Um, all right, ready? We're going to try and get uh, maybe Christian to like jiu-jitsu. All right, ready? And go. Definitely no bear and bolos today. Hey guys, practice both sides for the rest of you. Touch Dan? Yeah. Can I go to the bathroom? Yes, you may. Thank you for asking. Good, you got somebody, Christian? Nice. They just getting ready really quick. Unmute for me, Christian, really quick. Are they just getting ready? No, they're here. Oh, they're here? All right, bring them in. They gotta be your partner. You don't have one of these guys. Good, come over on the mat, nice. Have them lay down. Here, who is it? Oh, your brother? Have him lay down. So, brother, what's your name? Brother of Christian? I couldn't hear that. All right, Ryan. lay. Ryan? All right, Ryan, lay down 
and Christian's gonna get the mounted position. So you, you see how this dummy is right here? And try and stay on the screen a little bit. Scoot over, scoot over, don't be shy. There you go. All right, now Christian, get the mount just like this, okay? Now it's Ryan, right? Good, Ryan, put your arms like this. You see it like this? Yeah, perfect. Now, switch how they are too. Put your right hand on top. You see how this, this guy's right hand is on top? Still fold him, still fold him like this. You see how my arm, yeah, perfect. But then just switch how your arms are. Perfect, all right. Now Christian, I want you to put your right hand on, the, on his wrist and left hand right at his elbow. Think right hand, raise your right hand, good. Now, I want you to push that arm to the ground with both hands just like this. Good. Now, look at me really quick. Put your elbow right next to his ear. Right elbow next to his ear. Can you do that? Good. Now, I need you to actually rotate so I can see the top of your brother's head, okay? So it's kind of like this. You see how my dummy is like this? Yeah, scoot, scoot. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Thank you, brother of Christian. Perfect, that way I can see a little bit better. And scoot back towards the piano a little bit. Take a few scooches backwards towards the piano. Perfect. Nice, perfect, that'll do. All right, good. Now, here's the trick. What I want you to do is take your left hand and go underneath his arm and grab your own wrist. Under your arm, yes. Now, um, it was Ryan, right? Now, Ryan, anytime that you feel discomfort, you're gonna tap on your brother. Look at me, Ryan, really quick, so you don't get, you're gonna tap on him like that, and he'll stop, okay? So he's gonna do a submission, you'll gradually start to feel pain, it'll be no big deal, and as soon as you start to feel it, then just give a tap, okay? Don't let yourself get hurt. All right, now, Christian, very slow, we're gonna start to raise his elbow up like this, and then paint his hand very slow. Keep going, keep going. A little bit more until he starts to feel it. Paint his hand, make his hand slide like that. Keep going, a little bit more, a little bit more. Good, did you get the tap? Now, Ryan, when you tap, tap on him with your free hand. Look at this, Ryan. So like tap on his back or something with your left hand, okay? Make sense? Yeah. Cool, all right, get it, let's do it again. Get on the mount. Good, all right. Now push his right arm down. Good, now left arm under his arm and grab your own wrist, perfect. Now don't forget to lift, but also paint his hand down. So like his hand needs to go down as you lift. Good, keep going a little bit and tiny bit more. Now tap with your left hand, good, tap, let go. Perfect, we did the tap at the right time and we did the let go. This submission is called the Americana. Americana. All right, do it again. All right, everybody else, here's what I want you to do. Everybody else in the class, except Christian. I want you to do a guard pass, then get the mount, then do the Americana. And it'll be your choice what guard pass we do, okay? All right, ready, go. Oh, hey, Marissa, I didn't even see you. Is that Marissa? Yeah, okay, no? I can't tell anymore. Is it Tiffany or Marissa? Looks like Marissa. Yeah, the smile looks like Marissa. All right, go ahead. Keep drilling it, Christian. Push. Nice. Paint his hand. Paint his hand down. Paint his hand, otherwise he won't tap. Paint his hand, Christian. You could do it. Nice. So here's what I mean. You've got almost everything right, except watch how this hand of his, I'm gonna make it go down. You see how this hand, I'm imagining it's a paintbrush and I'm just taking a stroke, like painting the mat. Do you kind of get it? All right, try it a couple more times. You're doing good. I wanna see six more from Christian, okay? And then we'll do a new technique. Good, lift his, yeah, now lift at his elbow. Keep going a little bit. 
Don't let yourself get hurt, Ryan. And a little bit more, and he will tap. Good job. That's one. Let's do six. One of six. Just make sure, Ryan, you tap nice and early. Because a bunch of them back to back, you could get sore. That's good. Nice job. This is called the Americana, just in case you forgot. Americana. Good. Okay, time. So, that right there has the, first, the last step. That was step three. And it's kind of a weird place to start. Christian, go and mute for me. Because wouldn't you start at the beginning? I guess we could, but I wasn't set up for learning from the beginning. Normally I have a partner to demonstrate with. It's a little hard to show the takedowns without a person, but we're gonna do our best. So we're gonna deal with the first and second stages. And Jiu-Jitsu match starts with a slap and a bump with your partner. So you go like this. You slap and then you bump. And that means, okay, now we're sparring. And sparring is when you get to try 100%. You're not just cooperating. Right now, when we're just learning a basic technique, we're cooperating with one another. We're letting them do the move to us. And they're letting uh, us do the move to them. So when you're sparring, that's not the case. You're trying not to let them do anything. So that's how we start any sparring session, is a slap and a bump. The next thing you need to do is you need to get in your stance. You kind of need to bend your legs a little bit, and you have your arms out in front, almost like you're playing piano <laughs> in the background there. Almost like you're playing piano. That way, if they try and take us down, our arms are ready to defend, and we're not standing upright. So it's gonna be a little weird to show, but I'm gonna show on that dummy back there in just a second. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna learn how to do a double leg takedown. I'm gonna do a level change first. Watch how I change my level, which means just bend my legs, just like a squat. Now, after I do a level change, or maybe at the same time even, I'm gonna do a penetrating step. Watch, level change and penetrating step. My front leg is gonna go and take a small step forwards. So, level change, penetrating step. Now, I push off of my back leg and my front knee goes on the mat. Right about now is when I'm gonna grab behind their legs and then I'm gonna take them down. So you're gonna grab behind both of their legs. That's why it's called a double leg. I'll show on the dummy in a second, but I just wanted to show the first part kind of facing you a little easier that way. So I'm in my stance, one leg in front of the other. We call this a lead leg and we call this a trail leg. So I'm in my stance, bending a little bit. I lower my level, level change, Whew, penetrating step. Whew. Drive my front knee on the mat and then you grab their legs and go for a takedown. So again, it's level change, penetrating step, drive your front knee on the mat, then you would grab their legs 
and take them down, which I won't do as much detail on right now. All right, so here's what you're gonna do. Kind of hard to show because my back is facing you, but this is the general idea. Level change, penetrating step, I go in and I grab behind both of their legs and my head goes off to the side a tiny bit. And then I can use my head and dump them over to the side to take them down. So here, if I were taking them down, I really don't want to take them down. I would go to the side and then I took them down. Immediately, you would then look to try and get the mount and do the Americana. So that's what you'll do. Come here, dummy. You get them out right away and then do the Americana. Okay? So, level change, penetrating step. Grab behind their legs, take them down. Get them out and do the Americana. Try your best, okay? Ready, get set, and go. Questions? Yeah, what is it? So the first one is, um, how are you supposed to do it with the dummy? Yeah, just, just practice in the air, okay? Just practice your shots. Sure. And the second question is, what time is class supposed to end? We're going to end in a little bit, Cash, okay? Why don't you go on mute and practice your, your takedowns, okay? Christian, move your camera up so I can see you a little bit. Good. Grant, just do your shot, and then get on the mount of your dummy. That's what all the people with dummies should do. Practice taking a shot, hop on the mount, and then get the Americana. Good. Now get the mount. I can't quite see. It's a little hard to see with the camera. But right after you get the takedown behind both legs, get the mount, Christian, and then do that Americana, okay? All right, let's see it. All right, get in your stance, Christian. Good. Now, level change, penetrating step. Go in and grab his legs. Good. Now take him down. Good. Now get them out. Get them out. Beautiful. Nice. Both knees on the mat. Both knees on the mat. I think they are. Nice. That's really good. Good job, Christian. Not so bad. Not so bad at all. Keep going, do more. Christian's gonna do five for us. That's our timer, okay? Good. We can work on improving the, the shot, the, the level change and penetrating stuff, but you're getting the general idea, that's for sure. Good. Get in your stance, Christian. Good. I'm assuming the Americana is going well. Having a great view of your piano in the background. Two more for Christian. <laughs> Good. <laughs> well, I just kind of want to get you in the ballpark for today. We can work on it a little bit. We often practice our shots in our warm ups. Good, double leg takedown. All right, after you do this one, Christian, we're gonna do one more and then we'll do a game. Good, one more, one more, Christian, one more. One more double leg, get the mount, and Americana. I'll take it. Okay, time everybody. Game. Okay. First one is gonna be scavenger hunt race. 
So the first person to show me, and you got to show whatever it is. Like if I say a bottle of water, you got to hold it up super close and keep it there so we can see who's first. So I'm going to call out an item and you're going to have to run as fast as you can to go and find it. I think this one is hard. So we'll start with a hard one. First item. As soon as I say it, you can take off. A toothpick. A toothpick. Go. Marissa, can you unmute? No, Miles. Is that a whole box of toothpicks? No, it came up short, Christian. Yeah, I think Andrew won, and then Grant in second place. Dominic, third place. Aunt Ruby. Everybody unmute. For the game, just unmute. Oh, no. Finished all of them. Okay, next one is a Pictionary word on medium level. Oh, all right, ready? All right, how am I gonna draw this? Uh, I gotta warn you, Christian, I'm probably the worst drawer in the world. Hang on. Mud off-roading. You guys won't get it yet. Um, oh. Almost. Waterfall. That's it. Waterfall. Oh. <laughs> I don't know where you guys got cave. I can see it. I, I, who got who got the uh, answer? Miles said it first. Miles. All right, Miles. I'll message. Miles is going to do the drawing now. So if you get it, you can do the drawing. And I'm going to private message Miles what he has to draw. Okay. All right, ready, Miles? Oh, this is so easy. This is, I can't believe this is on the medium setting. All right, here we go, Miles. You ready? Mm-hmm. There you go, Miles. Oh, it's so easy. Yeah, it's super easy. Miles is really good at Pictionary, too. Ah, close. No. Quiet, Miles. You guys are this close. Not, not a pirate. No, you can't write anything, Miles. That is illegal. DQ against the rules of Pictionary, Miles. Can anybody say the single word? It's not a pirate ship. One word. Boat. Boat. Uh, what's a synonym for boat? <laughs> Nobody can get this. Ah, uh, Ruby said ship. Okay, Ruby got it. Ruby, do you know how to draw on the screen? Oh, no. Ruby, you know how to? Um, I guess. Do you hit the pen, Ruby. Hit the pen. Okay. And then try drawing a little bit. Okay. All right, Ruby. I messaged you what you need to draw. Do you see it? All right, let's see if Ruby gets it. Come on, Ruby, we're falling. We're, we're lagging. It's not working. All right. I'll see if you guys can get this. Oh, wait, here we go. This is me drawing now. Ruby, Mr. Mark. This is so easy. You're going to get it in three seconds. 
Road. Chris. Hey, Christian. Miles, you got it, but I'm going to give it to Christian. Christian, do you know how to draw on your screen? No. No? What a bummer. All right. Let's do a find it. I want somebody to find. No, 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 no. Let's do one Pictionary first. Tree. Flower, volcano, tree. Tree. I messed up on this one. Hang on. Broccoli? Yeah, it was broccoli. Somebody find me broccoli. First person to find me broccoli is the winner. Dominic always wins the food ones. Dominic first, Miles second. You don't have broccoli. We're jujitsu practitioners. We need to eat our broccoli. All right. All right, we ended a little late because, yeah. Um, so, I want you guys to eat that broccoli right now. And you are dismissed. I'll see you guys. See you, Christian. Hope to see you soon. Miles. Yeah, Miles. Bye. What's up? I talked to Maria yesterday and she said that Dolly is interested, um, but she would want to do the dummy system, so to rent one, but she doesn't know. Anything. Just have her come pick one up. Okay. Just she wanted to know if there was an extra fee, if it was included with the regular tuition. I'm just trying my best. I can't, I can't give out dummies to everybody, but I have dummies here. If I have dummies, I give them out, and I have dummies. I don't have the articulated ones, but I have the, uh, the big ones. Okay. Yeah. I'll let her know. Yeah. So. Tell, tell her just to come anytime I'm streaming. Okay. Are you staying or leaving? I'm uh, staying. Good. All right, I'm going to go on mute. Okay. See you in a bit.
Marissa. Hey, Ray. Marissa, are young years, keep young years away, from, can, can you even keep young years away from this? Um, I posted it on my face. I posted it on my Facebook page, which is the first time I've done that, which means it's searchable. So if somebody searches Zoom, like anybody can come in. I just, I, I don't know. I, I just, I want more people to come. Oh, we're not good enough for you? You're not good enough. You're like the loyalists. There's Christina. I don't think anybody's going to come more than this. All right, so let's get started. No Julio? Okay, I was going to call him a slacker. Great. Let's give it two minutes. I'm going to be switching spots. I'm going outside. So. Outside? Yes. I don't. Take care of the little ones. No, it's fine, Marissa. I have a waiting room. No, it's okay. My mom says she can walk uh, out. You're rude. <laughs> <laughs> nah, just stay there, Marissa. It's fine. We're not going to get Zoom bombed. I'll just tell you to turn down your speakers if I let somebody in. I can control when it happens. Okay. I'm going to edit my post. Hi, Kevin. Hey. Hi, Ray. Hey, Christina. How are you? Good. What's up, Julio? Good. Anybody got anything interesting going on? It's hot out. I'm on call for work, and that's kind of miserable. But. What do you do for work, Ray? I'm a lineman for Spectrum Cable. Wow. So somebody's internet goes out, they're calling you. Yeah, my phone might ring. If my phone rings and I disappear, that's why. Mm. <laughs> I've noticed a lot of peculiar things with my internet since the lockdown. What's that? Uh, like things that are not normally slow or... Yeah, it's like heavily congested, especially yeah. um. Yeah. yeah, at the peak times, not so much. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how about you, Kevin? What have you been up to today? Oh, uh, I've just been working on this giant project that's deploying in like two days, and it's a lot of time and money spent, and hopefully it's not gonna blow up. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's. That's uh, that's why I don't do what you do. <laughs> like when I when I launched jujitsu.net, it it is a very innovative website. I mean, it's it's basically a whole new approach from scratch. And the stress to get it correct was just incredible. Like yeah. And you I wouldn't I, I think it added years to my life. For real. Or took away years. <laughs> Didn't add. <laughs> Sorry, I was distracted. I was reading somebody's comment. All right, let's go. Let's start. I actually, I actually had a kid try class today. Oh, wow. He came, he came 15 minutes late, <laughs> so I made it super hard. Like, I'm tired, you know, after 15 minutes of burpees, anybody's going to be tired. And the kids are a little bit more resilient, but uh, I was like, oh, shoot. Like, I can't just do jujitsu the entire time. His parents are going to want me to, like, exercise him a little bit and, like, you know, have a pace to the whole class and not just jump in and learn, like, crucifix or something. Um, so, yeah. It's an interesting experience, my first time of the quarantine, having a new student, which is good. I mean, people are kind of yeah. wanting an outlet for the kids. Oh, All right. yeah, because, you know, I don't know, kid, um, yeah, I don't know, hey, 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 That's my sister's name. 
and then she was born on a Tuesday, so Ruby Tuesday. And okay. She uses the Zoom account for class, so. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's the real reason. Just came in from, from Zoom. Change your name, Marissa. I, I just some, I sometimes don't even look at faces, and I just read the names. <laughs> Let's just start calling her Ruby. You're now Ruby. Yeah. Okay. So, um, the the pace of instruction is going to be a lot higher today, because the objective is to glue just kind of what we've been working all into one lesson. And these are the more fun ones because it's just less instruction and learning new things. Learning new things is always a little bit more on the frustrating end of things because you you feel you feel stupid when you when you don't know something and you're like uh left hand where right hand there. It's actually kind of fun when you kind of know it and are just like cleaning it up. So we're gonna start in the De La Hiva. I kill the De La Hiva. Back step, back step, back step, back step. Step over the leg, but not too far. Grab the collar. Now I'm in the headquarters. From headquarters, I take my foot and I move it on over to knee slice. Now we're gonna do the method of knee slice that was a little bit more sophisticated. I'm gonna grab their leg and put it behind my butt. And then I go in and make a thumb in grip. I close all the distance, and then once I do, I hug around their back. You couldn't see that, but I was clearing the leg out, and then I hug around their lower back, and then I complete the knee slice pass all the way through and adjust. Marissa, you should experiment with doing it like this. You should reverse the order of the knee slice, leg, and grip. Keep their knee shield intact, go forward with your weight, make their knee shield work, make your thumb and grip, and then with your forward pressure, clear the leg out. So then do this part. With your kind of leaning forward, your thumb and grip is there, and then clear it out, and then hug. I think that's better, actually. And then knee slice. I had to be a little gentle knee slicing, because the way that my dummy is, it'll wear it out if I keep doing it like the real way. Okay. All right, practice, kill the deal. This isn't new, just go ahead. Good. Christina Nishield. Julio, in the knee slice, you should be sitting on her leg. And Christina should make an effort to make that anyway. So it needs to be sitting, not like this. Okay. Okay. Great. No, Ray, is that you? Oh, sorry. Okay. Marissa, did you kill the daily heva hook? No. Nah, this the, you're gonna get killed. <laughs> you're gonna, you need to kill it. As you're backstepping, needs to remain killed. Uh, I can't see very well. Now, you made your thumb in grip. Now, lean forward. Now take your right hand and clear the leg out. Yeah. It's a little bit more initiative seizing. I actually like it better. I analyzed one of Homolo's matches, and I noticed that he reversed the order. So that's kind of cool. I like that. I think it changes a lot of things, too. Ray, you can try that, too. So he's knee shielding you. Yeah. Now make the thumb and grip. Lean forward, make your thumb in. And now clear it out of the way with your right hand. Yeah, and then pass. Good. All right, let's take a look. 
Let's take a look at Kevin. That that dummy moves like Mark. Is that Mark? That is Mark. I can tell. How's that? Uh, just the way that your your body moves. It's good, they Kevin. Like Mark. <laughs> I tried to get the antibody test today, but I waited too long. And they were already out, and I didn't have enough time. Dan, hold on, I have a question. Yeah, what is it? From right here, do I keep this thumb and grip, or do I have to go do now to the overhook, underhook? Uh, show me what you meant by thumb and grip. Oh, I guess it's not thumb and grip. I think it's... No, it's, it's your other hand. <laughs> it's your left hand. Oh. Yeah, that's why I was like, show me what you meant. Something's wrong there. <laughs> yeah. You can make that grip, and maybe you've been taught that grip by me or by, you know, your instructor at Boston. It's a legit grip. Cross grip is just different. Different strategy. Has anybody been mildly sick here the past couple of weeks? No. Nope. No? Nope. Marissa? No, no. Anybody cough or anything? No. We got a sneeze yesterday. Just once? That doesn't count. So I'm the only one. I'm the canary in a coal mine with every, every flu season, every cold season. Less with flu, I don't get flu very much, or at least I don't think I do. There's a lot of asymptomatic cases with flu as well. Or mildly symptomatic, non-fever. But you should see what the juniors class is. They cough all over my face. I'm not kidding, on my face, point blank range. You got one? Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations. Time. Next move. Now, we back up to go into the open half guard and we go double underhooks. Kill the daily heva. Step over the leg. Kill that daily heva for the rest of the whole time. Then grab the collar. Move to knee slice. Now, from knee slice, notice how I'm sitting on the leg, Christina. I back up. One and two. I'm on both knees. This is just open half guard. And I'm going to try and pass this position for a little while, but it's hard. So I underhook. Underhook. Get around their leg however you want. And then go double underhooks. And this is big. I think Mark missed the double underhooks to stack, right, Mark? Yeah. Uh, this is going to be pretty rough then. So from double underhooks, your head is low. You're grabbing at their hips. You pull them up onto your legs to start to elevate the hips. Now, I lean forward and start to make a thumb in cross collar grip, just like this, and zipper it in. Here's the part where it's going to get hard. I go forward and I go put my right, left knee over their right arm, right by their ear and I shelve their hips with my back leg, like this. Now, I grab the center of their back and I stack them, choke them, head low, and then I give a little bump. The dummy doesn't clear its own leg because it's not spring-loaded. But when you bump, the leg will come out of the way and then you establish the side control. So extremely long, but what makes it long is the stepping over the leg. Headquarters, headquarters, knee slice, but you already know that well. So it's just about the double underhooks to stack pass that's new. So, kill the daily heva, step over, grab the collar, move to knee slice. From knee slice, I'm working a little bit, it's hard. So I'm like, forget that, I'm just gonna come down. Or maybe you felt threatened, he was spinning under you, whatever. Now I'm here, I'm working the position, it's very hard. So I go under, 
This hand goes under. There's double underhooks. I have to fix my legs and then sprawl around. And I grab at the hips, head low. Now this is something completely different. This is double underhooks to stack pass. Double underhooks, pick them up. Grab deep. Thumb in grip. Cross collar with your left. Drive forward. Go over their arm with your knee. And post your back leg. That, that's what I call shelving because it makes a shelf for their hips to be propped up. Then grab their back right in the center. Lean forward. Make them suffer. And then a little bump of your shoulder. But he doesn't care about being in that position. So just kind of make your way around. And then pass the guard. All right. Engage. Space. The final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. It's continuing mission to seek out new life and new civilizations. To boldly go where no man has gone before. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Look at me, I can do something I wish I could be in charge of work. Should I do this in Good, Kevin. I always have the hardest time seeing Kevin in his narrow little corridor. Yeah. In our hallway. Yeah. Did you put mats on the side? Um, yeah, the whole thing is on there. It's one big mat. Oh, it's, it's making like a U? That's funny. Yeah, the Jiu Jitsu cup. What? You don't have like a living room or just a dining room? Why are you just moving happy day logs outside? Wait a minute. Yeah, that seems like a million times easier than practicing in a hallway. Yeah, we're going to have to just relocate stuff and move things around. but. I was trying to do this in like an area that I didn't have to move things out of. Yeah, I get, I get it. Good, Marissa. Good, Marissa. No, Marissa, when you clear your head out of the way, don't turn your head to the side. You actually want to keep your head here. I mean, he doesn't clear his leg, but the normal people will. Just bump and keep your head right there. Because then you get like the talisman legs or the pato legs <laughs> bubbling back in. Right. Good. I picked it up at the double underhooks, Julio. The shelving of the hips was kind of weak, Julio. You want to make sure that it's actually doing something to keep... Look, mom, no hands. You want to make sure that that's actually propping up the hips. It was just kind of like posted, but it wasn't like doing anything. That's my only feedback on that one. Ray, do it all, all on the other side. This side? Yeah, next time do it all opposite.
You know, the reaction of the Brazilian president to COVID-19 is so in line with a lot of the Brazilians that come here. Do you guys follow the Brazilian president at all? Yeah. yeah. Or he's like, there is no COVID-19. No, but the, they're just like, fine. that with everything, like Brazilians are like, no, bro, we don't have ringworm down in Brazil. Like, yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, you have, they're like, no, Brazilians are immune to that. It's like, look, you have a quarter sized ring that's in the shape of a classic ringworm pattern. It is ringworm. No, no, no. In Brazil, we had, don't have this. <laughs> no. Time next. Now, all right, stop. Next one, that's it. Same sequence where I'm in knee slice, enter in the same way. So you're always practicing killing the daily heva, stepping over the leg. I'm having trouble with knee slice, so I back up once again. But right away, I'm already thinking about what I'm going to do, and I get an underhook, just like before. But instead of this going into the underhook position, I'm going to go over and do the over under guard pass. So from here, remember the key points are put your weight on their belly button, not up higher on their chest. Their chest has ribs. It's very strong belly button area. My head is entrenched. It's never going to be uh, taken out of this position in the pocket of their hip. And I turn my body to look at their legs. So you're going to see my back. You're not going to see my side, right? Now you see my side. You still see my side. This isn't right. This is what Julio was doing uh, one of the days. But I actually want to turn. You see how I see, you see my back. Now, from this position, I walk around. I'm kind of already there. Until about 9 o'clock, I raise my leg. I stick it under theirs. I pull my arm out, and I pinch their hips. I scoot a little higher. Cross face. I can't even tell what a... <laughs> I know what a real head feels like. I don't know what the dummy head feels like. I can't even tell if I'm getting a cross face. That's kind of funny. All right. So I back up from knee slice. You'll practice that whole sequence. Right as I get here, I get my entry. The entry is the hardest part. It seems like when you're learning something that the hardest part is like remembering all the details. That's actually the easy part uh, most of the time. Most of the time, it's like getting, getting your foot in the door. And getting your foot in the door in this case is under the, the leg and getting to the spot. Now it's the spot. You're on your toes. You walk around to 9 o'clock, over under pass. Raise your leg up. Stick your knee underneath their legs. The first thing that happens is this arm comes out. And with my elbow and forearm, I pinch their hips. So it's hard for them to hip escape. Like this. Just like that. Then I work my way a little higher. I cross bait. I can't hurt, hurt the head. There's that. And then block the hips on the near side. Practice the whole thing. Ready, go. that noise coming from? What? I know I'm putting my weight on my weight on. 
Oh, oh Rich, is that, are you there, Rich? Please. Rich, Andrade, are you there? Rich, come here. What about Big Rich? Oh. <laughs> is your dad there? What? I don't know. He's eating dinner. Does uh, I remember that he asked Christina for masks? Um, do you want to swing by and get some? Oh, he's there yet? Yeah. What was that? He's he's looking at green green oh, where? Can you see me? Yeah. No. Oh, okay. Technology. Uh, yeah, you're there. It's just me for my sister-in-law. Yeah. Oh, what She's does a, she do? You know, no, 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 hospital in Santa Ana. Oh. They don't provide her stuff. Okay. Yeah. I'll give her uh, uh, five ninety-five masks. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yeah. Good, Julio. Good, Ray. Good, Kevin. <laughs> I like your modified uh, clearing of his legs so you don't kick your wall. <laughs> I, I noticed. I forget if I've shared this before, but my first real training experience, I had my first academy, which was the Gracie Academy in Torrance, the famous one. Um, but I don't really consider that my first home, so to speak. My first home was in my instructor's garage, and he had tools everywhere. And when the rolls got heated, there would be videotapes and tools falling on us because we'd hit like the, the racks, old school style. Two more minutes or so, estimate. I realized my mic wasn't on. My wife is sending me pictures from home, and my my daughter's feeding the chickens dirt. Jackson's on the roof with all of his Nerf guns, making a fort. He has a pillow and blankets up there. <laughs> Funny. We our average age of people on our block is like seventy. <laughs> so when they see, so when they see Jackson on the roof, they. Uh, Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. That's a good mess. Oh, yeah. 
Okay. I could have done that all day. I mean, I, I would have liked to. <laughs> I wasn't sure that I actually could. All right. Time. Let's move on to the next one. We've actually got through a, quite a bit of material so far. <clears throat> So doing the same thing, stepping over the leg, getting to headquarters, getting to knee slice. Work the knee slice first. It always helps to try that. Drive forward, get a thumb and grip, and clear this leg out. It's not the only way, but it's one way. But try that before you change ideas. But we're going to change ideas here. We're going to do the X-Pass. We're going to do a Newton's Cradle. Remember my analogy of the Newton's Cradle? That's what your legs do. This one kind of hits where that one is and your right leg comes up we push the leg over and then we do a skip step our hands end in an X that's why it's called the X pass so the whole thing I don't think X pass is new for anybody so that's going to get a quicker treatment here kill the daily heva step over grab the collar move to knee slice I'm working knee slice you will be with the same grips though that you had Newton's cradle, lift your leg, push his legs over, skip step. So if you've noticed, the hub for today has been knee slice. And we've only done one knee slice. So each one of these steps is a hub with many options. All right, ready, go. Good, Christina. Actually, Marissa, you know what? I'll just bring it over to your house after. My dad's getting ready to go. Oh, he is? Yeah, it's the best here. That's, it, it is easier, but that's fine. Okay. Kevin, you need to raise your right leg and keep it in the air. <coughs> Hang on. <coughs> what you did, what you did was like you stepped back. You actually put it on the ground, it looked like. Go to knee slice. Yeah. Yeah, and that's straight to knee on belly, more or less. Uh, to the ground or to knee on belly? To, well, you put your foot on the ground to do knee on belly. Really good. Who was that? Julio? That was nice. Was that Julio? Yeah. Julio's in No, that was Christina. Christina. Nice. Yeah, no, that's what I said. I'm tying it all together today. And that's what I posted in the group. Like, that's the idea. I'm trying to, like, I'll teach until I reach a saturation point, and then I'll try and string it all together. I don't know. I don't know what I do. I just make it up as I go. It's better that way.
I wish I could get you guys on the screen. Good, Ray. I'm looking at you this time. Nice. That's really good. Ray wins, by the way. I want to talk about something really quick on camera with you guys. Keep keep practicing. Oh wait, you guys can't see that. Okay, look here, we're still gonna practice that. But I wanted to talk just briefly about how to make your bass feel like a rock. There's gonna be times where you'll roll with somebody and you're just like, why can't I move them? There's lots of reasons for that. But when we're standing either in the De La Hiva or in the headquarters, I want you to give this slight <clears throat> kind of inwards pinch and lock, like kind of slightly force your knees together and almost like all your muscles want to be engaged don't just stand here you kind of like do this and you should be like trying to take your feet together but don't let your feet go together there's like that slight ish and you just need to engage your feet somehow you can do it on an inwards pressure like that or you can do it on an outwards pressure but just by engaging this one's a little bit more like my butt and hamstrings by engaging your legs, <clears throat> they're going to be responsive because your muscles are already firing. And since they're kind of like locked in against the ground, 
that will help a lot. It's, and it's super subtle to actually uh, show on camera. I don't know. Let me see my chicken legs. Maybe we can take this. Whoa, not that kind of video. But yeah, just, just kind of like a subtle like push out or pinch in kind of depending on the situation. Try and engage your legs. Don't just be standing there. You don't just want to stand here. You, you'll be like jelly. We want to be strong. It's everything set. So if you're actually passing right, it'll be really tiring on your legs. All right, go ahead and continue to practice that series. No questions allowed. Yeah, what is it? Well, what is that meeting that you just showed us? When exactly during the room did we do that? Headquarters or just in Daily Hiva. Make sense? No, we don't want to try it. But okay. Just like, just like root your feet to the ground. Just engage your legs. You want, you want to feel your muscles working when you're just standing there. Does that make sense? I don't really care how you do it with your legs. I, I could show you in person in half a second. That's the frustrating part of it. But what are you going to do? Yeah. That's kind of an advanced tip, to be honest with you. Hang on, guys. Uh, Rich is here. He's going to get some masks for uh, his nurse something. Marissa, who's it for? My aunt. What what hospital does she work at? Uh, some hospital in Santa Ana. <laughs> That's very informative. Thank you, Marissa. You're welcome. How many hospitals are there in Santa Ana? I mean, really. What's one? Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, I'm here. I'm back. But There's one piece missing that's really hard to teach for Julio, actually. Is your dad's sister, Marissa? My mom's sister. So, Rich's sister-in-law. And nurse, right? Marissa? What? She's a nurse? Oh, somebody came in and they got shy. Okay. Okay, time. I have no idea how I'm going to teach this. So, I've actually taught you. Ah, uh, I can't see. You guys can see me, okay? No. We, uh, no. Wall. Yeah, I can't see. Oh. Yeah, have both of your pictures in the wall. So you guys have actually learned, assuming you knew nothing, you've learned a lot of basic guard passes. You've learned double underhooks, stack pass, even though I said double underhooks wasn't a guard pass, most people will talk about it like it is a guard pass, so I'll talk about it like that for right now. Double underhooks, stack pass, knee slice pass, X pass. You've learned four basic passes. I mean, excluding half guard, there's probably 12 basic guard passes. So that's, uh, that's really good percentage of them. And unlike what I feel that most non-competitive coaches do, when I say non-competitive, I mean their, their focus is more on competition, is that they'll just teach, here, today, here's a stack pass. Here's how you do it. They'll just start like this and be like, all right, get in the stack pass. Here's how you do it. Where, whereas we've tried to relate it always to a, an underlying philosophy, and that is step over the leg, headquarters, headquarters to knee slice, knee slice to pass, and learning it within that context. Now, um, I thought about just now doing the stand and open guard break, but I don't want to do that, to be honest with you. It's a big piece of the puzzle um, that, that Julio is missing and maybe Christina can show that. It's really hard to show on the dummy. 
Instead, let's do a guard pass that works straight away from the De La Hiva. So you can do this uh, a lot of times in this sequence, but it's probably easiest straight in the De La Hiva. So we're not gonna get so much of the stepping over the leg now. We're gonna do leg drag. When I'm here and working to step over, sometimes it might be nice, you might sense the opportunity to do a leg drag pass. I'm gonna take my hand that was killing the De La Hiva hook and I'm gonna grab behind his leg like this. Let's actually do this a new way, one that I like. I'm gonna step forward and posture up like this. So really like putting your hips all the way forward and this hand is picking up at the heel. So it's kind of like forced to have the leg go up. Now I'm gonna pull it across as I come down. My left hand is gonna stay on the grip and my right hand as soon as it crosses is gonna come over the top and make a collar grip. As I do that, my knee drives in between the legs. I grab the collar and I stick the knee past my armpit so they can't get the knee back in like that on the inside. Kind of locks it out. Now don't bring your foot through when you do this. Keep your foot on this side. So it's just your knee that's in between. Last, I'm gonna kick stand and put my head low. This is the leg drag position. And much like the knee slice, knee slice has a noun, knee slice position, and a verb, the act of knee slicing. So does leg drag. The leg drag position is a very important one. You hear that referenced a lot in jiu-jitsu. So it's very critical that you at least know, it ex know that it exists. So I'm working to kill the daily Hiva, working to step over, it's hard, man. So I grab behind, the heel, I posture up as I step forward. I drag it across. And as I drag with my left hand, I keep the grip. My right hand comes over. So this one's controlling this leg as this one isn't. And then once I grab and tuck, then I can release this because now it's my armpit controlling the leg. Head low, pick up their hips and kickstand. I don't even think I said pick up their hips, but that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to pick them up so they're turned away from you. My knee in between, like so. Okay. One more time. Trying to step over, it's getting hard. Some grip fighting behind the heel, two on one. Step forward, posture up. Is a quick up and down, that's a quick movement. Come over the top, only release this leg with your left hand when your armpit secures it. Grab their back, accentuate this on their side, kick stand, head low. That's where we're stopping. That's like the big new thing for today. Okay, all right, ready, go. Somebody tried to get in the chat. I don't know if you heard them. I'm gonna see if they're still there, I think they left. All right, go, practice. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Sorry, my mic was off. It's okay. You can ask questions. So, do I have to put this, kill this other leg first before I do anything else? 
no. Yeah. I'm still watching you, Christina. Oh, what do I do? Do I try and kill this thing first? You're just, when you get in this position, your hands are automatically going to go kill the De La Hiva step over the leg. Now do that right now. Pretend like it's hard, though. You're trying to, oh, man, it's so hard. Christina, leg drag, leg drag. No. No. Christina. So, so when you're doing that, it's hard, right? It's jujitsu. Like, go ahead. Pretend like you're stepping over the leg, but don't. But pretend like you're trying, and he's stopping you. Oh, man, and I yell to you. Christina, leg drag, it's there. Go, now do the leg drag. Yeah, that's the leg drag. Uh, uh, no, your mind's a little wrong. It's like you are going to try to kill the deal that he even step over the leg. That's what you're going to do in this position. But sometimes, while you're doing that, so you're, you are killing the daily Hiva. While you're doing that, then I, the opportunity comes on along to do a leg drag, and I'm probably going to be the one that recognizes it. And I yell, Christina, leg drag, leg drag. Then you release it real quick, and then you go. Do you understand? But you don't just sit there without checking the daily heva hook for ages because you'll die. Get it? Okay. Wait, Julio, stop. Don't move. Don't move because you're going to make it worse. Julio, I want you to bring your right knee to the mat. Yes, like this. Now scrunch up real tight like a bit ball. Yep. Now with your, yeah, pick up her hips. Now with your right hand, grab her collar, just like in the headquarters. Yeah, and then close your elbow in so her knee's on the outside. Yeah, her leg's a little short. Yeah, that's kind of it. Now kickstand your left leg. Kickstand it. I can't see if it's kickstand it. Your left leg, you kickstand there. Now lower yourself. You're just too high. Head, head lower. There, that's it. That's the position, more or less. Except when you came lower... Your knee didn't go in between her legs as much. Do it again. Do it again. Good, you're killing. And I'm like, oh, your leg drag. Good. Lower yourself. Ton. You got. Uh. Okay, the ending position was the strong point of this. What was the weak point? Let me back up. When you drag the leg, your left hand is holding it. And your right hand is coming over the top. But you released that left le hand. So nothing was controlling her leg. Now lower yourself with these grips. Lower yourself. No, no, no. You let go too soon. Lower yourself. Get some control by pinching your elbow. And then let go of that. What? Yes, yes. Good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nice. All right, Ray, let's see that you're doing it. Ray's in the hot seat. This is pretty easy. Good, Ray. <laughs> nice. I, I really understand that you understand it through how you're kind of like mimicking real situations, Ray. That's really good. It's hard with a dummy. I got that like, you, like, picked up the dummy here. You don't need to pick him up. Just stand up. All 
All right, I'll take it. I'll take it. All right, let's see. Kevin. Now. That's good. Okay, I just realized what time it is. Um, I'll set up. I was going to do one. I was going to analyze one of Brenda's matches. Um, she, yeah, I'm talking with her on Facebook. She's going to try and send me one. But she sent me a flow one, and I can't do that. I might be able to, but we'll see. Okay, so I'll see you in about 15, 20 minutes. Marissa, do you know what I do next? What? Do you know what I'm doing next? No. All right, everybody leave but Marissa. I'll explain it to her. So, um, hang on. Let them leave. So, yeah. So, the next class is an analysis class where I break down matches and such. Hey, there's Nolan. He doesn't, he can't see you. He doesn't know who he's talking to. Okay. Hang on, I'm going to say hi. Um, so it's on Facebook. Facebook, uh, Brea Jiu-Jitsu's page. Okay. If you want to watch it. All right, I'll see you. Um, my dad emailed you the information for the hospital, I believe. Say hi to Marissa. Hey, what's going on? Can you see her on the screen? Hi. Hi. There, he can see you. Hey, what is it? Well, this is Jiu-Jitsu. You remember it? Back in the days when are we used to do... Are you still doing the online classes? Yeah, all, every day. Oh, I didn't know that. Nolan! We email everybody. It's posted on our, our Facebook, how do you, our how do you, website. How do you do Oh, I knew that's why I came here. Let's go on your website. Wait, wait, no, like, what do you do there? Like, what are you doing? Um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we do uh, dummy classes. Yeah. So people are... Oh, home. What day is today? Uh, Wednesday. Uh, so we just got done with it. Just got done. 5.15 to 6.15. Wait, do they have dummies? Yeah. Uh, oh, did you see the video I sent you about the bear? Yeah. And I sent you a messenger. So. Like a while ago? <laughs> Maybe a week ago. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't remember it. Uh, I remember getting some. Oh, yeah. I was drilling on the bear in my ancestors. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah I saw that. That's funny. So now I'm going to do an analysis class. Oh, I've, I've been watching those. You have? Yeah. Why? I've been mentioning you. You don't say hi? You have? Yeah. I Who mentioned you, you like in two of them. Like what did you mention? Yesterday. What did you say? I said yeah. yeah. Why can I not remember the guy's name? He works at G the AOJ kid, not Zach, the other one. Kasama? No. The one that you faced. Joaquin? I can't remember his name. That's frustrating. I tried to come up with his name during class. Why? Because I was saying, I was analyzing a match where the guy was stepping over the leg too far from De Oliva, and for some reason I went down that uh, the rabbit hole of you versus Joaquin. Why? Why I stepped over the leg too far? Yeah. Because you have long legs. You said. And, and the unwinding, that's what I was talking about. Like yeah, the, you know. like difficult. Yeah. And, and I said that how you always say, like, yeah, 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 I, it's fine, it's fine. I don't want to. <laughs> I, was, uh, I went to Virtus today. I'm going to start doing that again. Gonna They're see. still doing it? Yeah. I could get in big trouble. I know, that's why I don't say anything. Yeah, but, but you won't get in trouble. Yeah. They Benny's, will get Benny's in trouble. there. Benny's been, Benny gave, I'm working out with two Servite wrestlers right now. And they yeah, have Servite's the, great wrestling. Yeah. And then, I, I, I've wrestled him before. And, yeah, but he, Benny, Benny, Benny gave him the keys to his gym so they can work out there. And things in there. Yeah, it's a little easier for places like Virtus to do it. Because, like, they're just... Nobody knows about it. Yeah, they're in a back industrial area. You know, it stinks for us. Because people will tell on you. Yeah. Did you, uh, Gio Martinez? Do you know who that is? Mm -hmm. Is that funny? He actually got a, a ticket. He got cited. Who mm -hmm. For practicing Jiu Jitsu in his gym. That's funny. <laughs> that is kind of funny. He was probably just training. He says he was filming a video, but I don't believe it. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. I'm streaming this. <laughs> With the microphone on. We. 